for our 12th standard past students there is this obsessive belief that the course that you do and by by course i mean a bachelor's degree so whether you pick bcom or bba or baf bms bfm depending on which part of india you are from that really makes a difference in your career or makes a, it shapes the the path that you are going to take in this video i am going to break this down for you in a way that you understand that the bachelor's degree uh, and by bachelor's i mean bcom versus bba versus baf makes no difference to you or your future profile the simplest way to put it is i want you all to keep two things in mind number one more than worrying about the bachelor's degree worry about the college the brand from which you are studying so whether you are from delhi university or mumbai university that's one but within them there are so many colleges so come if you talk about mumbai university whether you talk about colleges uh, such as hr ajay hind or kc and amity by these colleges have a have some brand name have some value that when you do go for your first job the employer will most likely know these colleges similarly for delhi with the, with with shri ram college and the, the, there are enough colleges in delhi that people are aware about bennett university and all where when you go to your employer they read your cv even if you're a complete fresher or even as an intern when you're applying they recognize you for the brand for the college from which you graduated by the way guys hold on Uh, we've been asking all of this, and most of you all have been adhering to it. But still, eighty-nine percent of our viewers are not subscribing to the channel. So please click subscribe and then go on with the video. Some of you all would know that uh, I used to work at PwC, but along with PwC, I had interviewed at a lot of other places besides the big four, uh, even mid-sized firms. Like there was this uh, SKP Parik uh, company at Ballard Pier, and uh, there were a few more. I had studied BFM for all people from Mumbai, you know, Mumbai University. Uh, we know what BFM is for others. It was BCom in financial markets. No employer, no interviewer did understood by reading BFM that okay, I know what this person has studied. They either had to look at HR as my college. They had to either understand that I have studied ACCA or they had to ask me. what this bachelor what bfm really means and nobody gave me any preference over somebody who had only done bcom so point number 1 is it's more important which college than the bachelor's degree point number 2 do something in your 3 years along with the graduation it doesn't have to be academics it doesn't have to be the ca acca cfa kind of qualifications you can you can just do internships non stop you can start a little project of yours as a freelancer if you work if you have a family business go and genuinely work not because it's your dad's business but because you really are trying to gain experience gain exposure and put that on your cv instead of worrying about bcom or bba that has more weightage than what you'll do eventually and by eventually i mean when you start looking for uh, work so if you take care of these two things i think it's it's going to make a bigger difference in any situation I've had cousins who who have called me after twelfth because their entire world around them, their friends, their teachers, their parents, their friends' parents are only talking about if I score my my you know if I score ninety percent, I'm going to try for BMS. Otherwise, I'll do BAF and BCom is just treated as a very meager degree. Whether you understand that or not, it makes no difference. Instead, there are BCom students who have the freedom for things like projects and attendance, and they can actually pursue more. in those three years then somebody who really performs well in bms with tons of projects from uh, with 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 good results but the bcom person with more experience is going to be ahead of them guaranteed by the end of their graduation so if you are within this zone right now uh not sure or if you've already you know you've completed your 12th in the recent past and now you are you wanted to get into bms for example but you now stuck with bcom don't worry Okay, just make sure you don't waste this this time and energy doing nothing and crying about this. Go ahead, pick anything, take up skills, take up courses, take up work, and let your degree and your college be the, you know, let let it be aside and let your entire work talk for itself. So, with that said, if you have any questions about what 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 are the other pros and cons that you should consider depending on your bachelor's degree, please leave it in the comments and uh, we'll get back to you.